Welcome back to 1985 as we continue our look at the Transformers toy line by Hasbro. Over the last three episodes, we covered all six of the evil Constructicons, Bonecrusher, Scavenger, Scrapper, Hook, Longhaul, and Mixmaster. And today, we'll be taking a look at their combined form, the mighty Decepticon warrior, Devastator, here on part four of the Creed's Collection Christmas Special. Merry Christmas, and welcome to part four of the Creed's Collection Christmas Special. Today we're checking out Devastator from the 1985 Transformers toy line by Hasbro. Devastator is the combined form of the six Constructicons you see here, so let's go ahead and transform them into the mighty Decepticon Warrior. We'll start off with the feet, and that's Mixmaster and Scrapper. You pull Mixmaster's cab out and lift up the back to form the left foot of Devastator. Then you take Scrapper, lift up his scoop, and extend his arms down to form the right leg of Devastator. Now we're going to form the body, and for that we need Long Haul and Hook. You want to take Long Haul, fold him in half like so, flip down his roof, take the armor piece and plug it in here, and then take Devastator's hips and plug them in right down here. Now you can take Scrapper and Mixmaster and attach them to Devastator's hips. The next step is to take the headpiece that's included with Hook and peg it into the top of Long Haul, just like that. Now take Hook, pull them apart, fold them in half, and fold out this metal peg. Hook then slots into the headpiece to form the chest and shoulders. The final part of the body is the wing that's included with Scrapper. You simply peg it into the chest piece just like this. Okay, last but not least, we're doing the arms, which of course is Bone Crusher and Scavenger. You peg the forearm and hand onto the bottom of Bone Crusher, and then he pegs into the left shoulder. Now you take Scavenger and you peg in the forearm and hand as well. Flip out a small peg on the bottom and he pegs into the right shoulder. And finally, we have a fully formed Devastator. Awesome and terrifying, Devastator is an immensely powerful warrior whose sole purpose is to crush all in his path. In this way, Devastator is a huge success. Mentally, however, due to the competing thoughts of the Constructicons, he is very much less than the sum of his parts. His primitive psyche is limited to only the thoughts and actions all of his components can agree on, which results in raging displays of destructive fury. Given the sheer power Devastator brings to these rages, Megatron has no complaints. Despite being slow, awkward, and not too bright, Devastator still strikes fear into the fuel pumps of most Autobots with his enormous height, incredible strength, and solar beam rifle. And now that we know a bit more about Devastator, let's take a closer look. My favorite thing about Devastator is his head sculpt. It is by far one of the best in all of Transformers. I think it is fantastic. The only way it'd be better is if his eyes were red, because on the cartoon, they were red. Bone Crusher being the shoulder right here, the treads being on either side, the wing chest plate, this is all a win. Devastator looks incredible, there is no doubt about it. When it comes to classic Transformers, he is very high on the list. His midsection looks really clean, and this armor piece adds a lot to the sculpt. His solar beam rifle is also super sweet, and if you want a better look at it, check out part three of the Christmas special. A cool feature is that you can remove Devastator's hands and put in the concussion bombs, which again, I think look like drills. And I have to say, I love how this looks. I can just see him holding down an Autobot and drilling holes in their body with that. The legs and feet of Devastator, of course, are Scrapper and Mixmaster. And I really like how the scoop here looks as one of Devastator's feet. I can't imagine being kicked by that. That'd be pretty rough. As we come around to the back of Devastator, all I can think about when I look at Scrapper is that he's probably questioning his life choices right now. What was I thinking? Why am I afoot? I'm the leader after all. Yeah, I don't understand it either. You could be up there taking it easy like Hook as the shoulders, and instead you're down here as a foot. And on top of that, you're doing a handstand. What's that even about? At least I'm kneeling. It's way easier. You're right, Mixmaster. This sucks. My arms hurt, and I'm sick of it. I'm having a talk with Hook later. 
All right, now we're going to take a look at Devastator's articulation. From chest down, he does not move at all, but he does have movable arms. So Scavenger, for example, can be adjusted like so, and he can actually go around full 360 if you wanted him to. In addition to that, where you peg in the arms, these can also be bent. So you can do a 90 degree bend here at the forearm. Now also, you could move Bone Crusher up and down. However, the problem is the wing gets in the way. But there is still an articulation point there. So that's two more. And then the head can look down and up. And if you want to count the gun, it can also move up and down. So that's a total of six points of articulation for Devastator. Before we move on, I did want to point out one fatal flaw in Devastator as a toy. This wing is basically the only thing holding the body together. So if it pops off, and it will while you're playing, the entire top half of Devastator tends to fall out. There should have been a clip that allows you to clip Hook into place where he could not fall forward and out of the body, and that would have been a massive improvement because this wing chest plate doesn't do much. He's a very delicate figure. I love him, but you don't play with him much. He's more something you form, and then he stands ominously in the background, threatening to destroy any who come near. Okay, here's a quick look at Devastator's tech spec. If you'd like to read it, pause now. And now for our He-Man size comparison. The Constructicons have been waiting for this day, ready to show He-Man their awesome combined might as Devastator. However, if they expect He-Man to cower in fear, they have another think coming. Let the battle for Eternia begin. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Devastator from the 1985 Transformers toy line by Hasbro. And with this ends the third annual Creed's Collection Christmas Special. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you choose to celebrate. I hope it is wonderful. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy from my vintage collection every Wednesday and sometimes Friday if it's Christmas. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collection.